What's up Sickle Cell Warriors, it's Dr. O and the grind never stops. In today's video, we're going to briefly to talk about crizanlizumab and how that drug can potentially help you with your sickle cell. Now, what is crizanlizumab? <laughs> crizanlizumab is a drug used to help people prevent episodes with sickle cell. And um, this is an important factor, it's an intravenous drug, so it's infused through your veins. And so, in order to get this drug, you have to go to the hospital or an infusion center. The brand name for this drug is called Adakvio. Uh, that might be a lot more easier to pronounce than Crizanluzumab. The drug was approved in 2019 by the FDA, so it's a pretty uh, recently new drug that a lot of people may not be aware of. And another important thing to note is that the drug is, was approved for people above the age of 16. So if you're less than 16 years old, uh, this drug is not recommended for you and you probably you should not be taking it. Anyone who is greater than 16 is eligible to take this medication. Now, based on my research and my studies, the two main primary outcomes of crizanluzumab was that it decreased and reduced uh, the frequency of sickle cell crises, which is great. And then another thing that it did was it also re significantly reduced the rate of hospitalizations. So uh, people with sickle cell who took this drug went to the hospital a lot less frequently than those who did not take the drug. Another important thing to note about this medication is that it is taken intravenously and you take it every, every four weeks. Apart from the first time you do it, the first time you take it, uh, you take it two weeks in between. So you take your first dose on uh, the first week and then two weeks later, you take it again. And then after that, you're taking it on a monthly basis. And they say that those who are using it intravenously, the infusion lasts for about 30 minutes. Now, how does Chrism Losing Lab work? <laughs> this drug is uh, something called a P-selectin inhibitor. And I'm not going to get too technical with the whole thing, but basically a P-selectin is, uh, is, is something in the uh, sickle cell blood flow that helps to promote the clustering of red blood cells and essentially uh, that's essentially how blockages start and sickle cell crises start. So crizanluzumab essentially prevents the preselectin from causing a blockage in the red blood cells and ultimately a crisis. Now where can you go to get this medication? Uh, like I mentioned, this is not an oral medication. It's not something you just take by mouth. You would have to go to uh, your hospital, most likely, and hopefully you're in a hospital that has a specialized sickle cell care center uh, or a place where you can get uh, infusions. Uh, they're typically called infusion centers. And I, I highly recommend that everyone who has sickle cell is going to a hospital that has a uh, specialty care for sickle cell so that they have tailored, they have a tailored made structure in order to give you appropriate treatment for sickle cell. If you've never heard of the drug or you don't know quite how to access it, please ask your doctor about it uh, and, and to, in, to get more information about the drug and also how you can better access it in your local area. Now, what are some potential side effects of crizanluzumab? Some side effects are joint pain, nausea, uh, fever, and itchiness. Again, uh, yeah, these are possible side effects, but they don't, they're not, they don't happen so common that I would be extremely concerned about that. It's always important to disclose possible side effects for every medication. Now, with that being said, with all the things we dis discuss, uh, is crizanluzumab worth taking for sickle cell? And that's essentially the point of this uh, video. If you've taken hydroxyurea and you've also taken oxbrita, uh, which are both oral medications and if those have not been effective for you then I would recommend taking crizanluzumab because it's just another option that can possibly work for you. Um, full disclosure, I do not use this medication for my sickle cell. I do not take the IV medication but just because I don't take it doesn't mean it won't work for you. Everybody's body works differently. What might work for you may not work for me and what works for me may not work for you. Everybody's body 
reacts differently to different things and I know hydroxyurea helps me a lot unfortunately it doesn't help everybody so I'm making this video to provide more options for people with sickle cell so they can have a greater awareness of what they can potentially do for their health so at the end of the day if you're struggling with your sickle cell I think it is extremely important to be aware of every single option you have so that you can exhaust any all the possible options for you um you know to be honest i would not rec make crizinluzumab the primary option for treatment one because it's intravenous so that's kind of inconvenient you always have to go to the hospital and then knowing that you have to go to the hospital or an infusion center to get this treatment there's probably high cost to this i would imagine honestly i don't know how much it costs to get this treatment but it sounds like because you have to go to a hospital it will probably be a costly monthly treatment but i always like to uh, provide you all with as much information as possible please definitely explore it if for some reason hydroxyurea and oxbrita and all your other medical treatments are not helping you with that being said sickle cell warriors thank you for watching this video and remember god gives his toughest battles to his toughest soldiers